Mind Gap Podcast. Welcome to Mind Gap Podcast. I'm Doug. I'm Justin. And Doug, which movie do you wish you could watch again for the first time? I have two. Ooh. I have two answers to this. Do tell. The first one would be as an adult watching Goonies for the first time because mm. I have a feeling sure. that watching that movie as an adult, I would be like, I don't know what everyone's so cool about with this film. Have, I don't understand. Severing what the all nostalgic is. ties. So you don't yes. have any of that poisoning your 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 uh, practical Doug thoughts. Oh my God! I don't. I think practical Doug would would have a real hard time with this film <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> just going through yeah. it, just being like, so what is sloth exactly? You know, and why is he chained up in the basement? Right. Why are three Italian people <laughs> the bad guys? I don't understand. <laughs> like this is really weird. Right. Like <laughs> none of this tracks. I don't feel good about any of it. I mean, the real bad guy is, uh, you know, real estate developers, you know, trying to tear right. down the homes of, of people so they could build a country club. And, here, and here's the thing. Some stories are forever. They're timeless. Some, because some stories transcend, you know, the human experience. That's still the bad people. No, people it, say Shakespeare transcends, you know, times. So does asshole real estate people try to build country clubs. Right? <laughs> Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy, indeed. Uh, the other one uh, would be The Dark Knight. That, uh, that that experience, to this day, I remember exactly how I felt after watching that movie for the first time. Yeah. Being Jill and I saw it, and then we went to Weber Grill, <laughs> of all places. And I just a- remember, I know, it's random. It was right. It was near the theater. We that that see, tracks, yeah. And uh, we we just sat there. I just remember, like, we ordered our food, and we just sat there in silence, just, like, Both of you digesting did, the movie, like, we just were both like kind of in awe. Yeah. Just being like, we just be like, that was a good movie. You know, like just <laughs> trying to process everything that we had seen. Cause it was so amazing. Yeah. Uh, it was so good. I would love to, to witness that again. Cause I remember watching the teaser trailer for that, which by the way, the teaser trailer for that film is fucking awesome. It's 53 seconds. It doesn't show a lick of footage. Okay. It just has sound bites. From is it the film? And is it like the bat symbol, like the buildings slowly the away? bat yeah. symbol starts showing up as light starts shooting behind it? And you've got Hans Zimmer's <clears throat> score playing, right? And you've got Michael Caine's like thing about you know some men just want to watch the world burn. You have like a little bit of the Joker talking, and the the logo explodes with a Joker card, and then like that's it. That's all it is. And I was like, I'm ready to see this movie. Yeah, like I'm in. Like I'm fucking in. I remember watching that teaser, and I remember watching the trailers a gazillion times. Before the movie, right. I showed them to anyone who would who had a, a computer nearby. I'm like, "Have you seen the Dark Knight trailer? I'm going to show you the Dark Knight yeah. trailer." <laughs> that's a that's so good. That's a good answer. I re- I just remember the lead up to Dark Knight Rises in our in our office environment mm. when we were all working right. together. Like I can only imagine year, how the Dark Knight would have been had we been in that office environment. It oh, would that would have been, been some nonstop. Bonkers. You would have been so tired of me talking about I, it. I don't think I would have. I don't know, man. That was a good year, by the way, because Dark Knight Rises and Avengers came out the same year. Holy it's a pretty good year. Christ. Yes. I fr- yeah. Yes. Because wow. remember, you you clipped out a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. And, and, and taped I decorated them up your to, wall. And, yeah. Was that for was your really birthday? Cool. I was like, oh, I, maybe. Or was it just, just for a day? Like, this guy's a nerd. Yeah. It was just, it was just for, it was a Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, I would say, um, for me... The Dark Knight is a really good answer. I would probably want to put that in my in my uh, in my list, but I I would say Indiana Jones uh, and the Last Crusade. Well, no, sorry, Indiana Jones: Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'd like oh. let's let's start at the beginning. I uh, I loved Indiana Jones so fucking much when I was a kid. I had the VHSs and I played those until they almost wore themselves out. So um, to to go back and experience that again as an adult, I feel like would be very cool just to see that again for the first time and to go through that adventure it just had a, i have a lot of nostalgia tied to it so maybe i'm i don't know maybe maybe i wouldn't like it as much but i'm just like the excite knowing how how much i loved it the first time i watched it 
I'm, I'm, I'm curious, similar to the Goonies, would it have the same effect as an adult now? I'd like to think it would. I don't think it would. I don't think it you would. You don't think so? Why I imagine you popping this on on Indigenous People's Day and hearing him, you know, punch this guy saying, that belongs in a museum. It's like, actually, it doesn't, sir. It belongs with the people you stole it from. I don't think you need to take it and put it in a museum for other white people to look at, sir. You know, I think that's, Doug, we could pick apart every movie. Should be. <laughs> are you defending the Nazis, Doug? Is that what I'm hearing? All I'm saying is that, like I, that. Are, are you all in for colonialism? Because I feel like that's what you're what you're promoting here. It's, you know, <laughs> let's take other people's shit. And then when they say, hey, that's our shit. You're like, no, <laughs> he had. Look, here's the thing. He had very, very. Uh, he had good. Ra- he had rationale behind him. He meant he meant well. OK, Doug, Indiana well. Jones meant well. OK, he returned <laughs> in the second one. He returned those stones to the village. He didn't take him to a museum. He thank gave God. them back to the villagers. Yeah, thank God he gave them to those people. But that, but that was the first one technically because that was a prequel to Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then Last Crusade. So, okay, so I he did it right the first time, and I then he got corrupted, s- <laughs> and then <laughs> hey, eat, look, you either die the hero, <laughs> or you live so long you live enough <laughs> to become the villain. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think... Um, We're positing on this podcast, Indiana Jones was the villain of those movies. <laughs> yeah, he really was, you know? Um, yeah, it's one of those things where uh, yeah, you look back on that and uh, I, I imagine, you know, especially in the Raiders of the Lost Ark, he's just literally raiding this temple from these indigenous people, stealing their shit, leaving a bag of sand that's roughly the same weight as it, and then getting out and uh, flying away. It's like... When, cool. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So here's the thing. Fuck my answer. <laughs> no, it's fine. Listen, let me tell you sense- about the dark night. All right, Doug. <laughs> let me tell you about Jesus. All right. Let me tell you about George Washington, how he never did anything wrong. <laughs> no, I mean, the sense of adventure in that film. I, I remember those movies fondly from being a kid. I, I watched them a lot, too. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I told this before, but like I tried to show Natalie Ray's The Lost Ark, and she's like, "This is I'm done. I don't want to watch this anymore." I'm like, "Fair enough." Which is weird because I feel like I was around the same age when I saw it for the first time, and mm-hmm. I fucking loved it. So that's like, it's an interesting disconnect. I also recall that one being more boring than the other ones because there oh, is so sure. much Look, talk about the Ark. And as know. a kid, mm-hmm. without a doubt, uh, my favorite was The Last Crusade. Like that was the most Last over Crusade's the top, fantastic, fun, like. So the, the puzzles he had to solve, I fucking yeah. I, I ate that up as a kid. Sean Connery, yeah. in it, like yeah, right, the right. dynamic between he and his dad, like, yeah, so good. Yeah, so just good. the introduction of, as a character. Now, as an adult, mm-hmm. from a story perspective, the introduction of the character and like learning the backstory and this and that, like that's more interesting yeah. uh, for me. I would say there, the but, yeah. obviously the iconic imagery of Indiana Jones, you know, the hat, the mm-hmm. whip, his the sound of his punches, you know, like legendary, just the raw you know. meat punches. The raw meat punches. Um, yeah, that's I, I do under, like. There's something about that. I, I guess to I don't know, your young hetero male that's like I want to be that guy. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, for real, to the point where I for Christmas asked for a bullwhip, like, mm-hmm. and got one. Yeah, <laughs> probably not a wise idea. <laughs> yeah, and then after watching those movies, I figured out you know the Nazi symbol and it was bad. You know. <laughs> That's and that's and, it, it, and then I had to you know you, sometimes you just gotta you gotta spread the knowledge for people. You gotta, the you gotta let this is bad. You gotta Let's let people you know. Bad. Don't draw this because it's bad. <laughs> Here's do as I say, not as I do. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, I actually showed Natalie. <laughs> I took a gamble. Uh, there's a uh, they, they made a movie based on Final Fantasy VII. Um, okay. It's it's like a, s- a sequel to the game. It's a movie called Final Fantasy VII: Advent Children, and uh, I was rewatching it the other day, and I'm like, I wonder if Natalie would like this movie because she kind of likes anime stuff and whatever. And there's you know, I'm like, the, the third act is like literally as soon as it starts, you know when it starts. It starts with like some guitar, like wow. I'm like, all right, third act's here. Here we go. <laughs> Third act's basically one giant fight. Like, that's Love all it is. It. It's okay. just like, you know, there's some down moments and talking, but it's basically just like nonstop action. It's, it's go. It's like, 
and we're off and we just go 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 by the time yeah. you're like god damn that was a lot man that was we went through a lot so i i watched about three quarters of it i'm like natalie had uh, her last so- softball game which apologies for uh the the break uh last week was crazy for scheduling and natalie had three fucking softball games and we could, didn't get a chance to record so our apologies but she finished up a softball game i go hey you want to watch a movie she's like okay and i'm like listen you're not going to know anything about this, okay? And this movie is based on a game that has like a ton of backstory, but I'll be here to walk you through it, okay? <laughs> and she oh, was engrossed. The dear whole old time. dad's got you. Don't worry, kid. Just and there's just so because the thing about that is like they didn't they they knew their audience. They're like your audience is someone who's played this game. No rando is going to wander in and be like, "What's this?" Right? Huh? No, this makes sense. It's like, yeah, you didn't play the fucking game. Get out. This isn't for you. Right. Um, and so like, there was just a lot of content where, you know, this guy's having flashbacks. He's, you know, he's talking with the ghost of a woman that died and he's super feels guilty about it. And she's like, who's that? I'm like, Oh, she died. She got killed by this guy. I mean, Sephiroth, big, bad guy. He's a bad dude. The other guy, that's Zach, you know, like Zach helped him and tried to save his life, but he died. And so like, now he's feeling like, Oh, gloomy and emo about it because he feels like you know he's not living his best life and you know everyone's sick because when sephiroth died his life force went into the life stream of the planet and now it's corrupting people and it's making him sick and it's killing him but uh you know yeah that's a talking dog uh yeah you know like (laughs) did she that's materia you put it into your body you can cast magic with it isn't that cool so did she accept this or did she go, she did. Dad, what the fuck is this? I think it helps that like the animation and stuff, because it's a CGI. Film. OK, like it helps a lot. Like, <clears throat> it, you know, there's th- there's some action moments that are pretty cool and whatnot. And, you know, if, I'm like, if you like My Hero Academia, what she does, I'm like, you can enjoy this. It's no problem. Fair enough. Yeah. It's just a, it's a lot more serious. <laughs> yeah. And how things go <clears throat> and whatnot. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of like symbolism and stuff, which I'm like, I don't know if you understand what symbolism is like <laughs> cloud. He's trying to do everything on his own. So there's there's like in several shots, there's just a lone wolf, you know, which is, you know, symbolizing who he is and him trying to exist on his own. And cause can then like, you know, a tree will cat will come across in the foreground and when it comes back, the the, the wolf's not there. She goes, Is that a ghost? You know, just like <laughs> Love Is it. that a ghost wolf? I'm like it's a symbol. Yes. It's, you know, I go, if you look at his jacket, you'll see like a wolf right there. Like that's a symbol. That's like who he is. And she's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, all right, whatever. What a, that's as what, far as we're going to get with this. What a great teaching moment for you guys. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here's symbolism. <laughs> Grasp this ghost? concept. I love that. And I honestly rewatching this because there was, there was, um, when we had uh, the guys on from, um, oh, fuck. I have Chris and, uh, Chris shit, and Matt. They were, <laughs> It was it was not Chris and Matt. Uh, it was the fellas uh, from the uh, home team. No, God damn it! Why am I being? Uh, uh, was it a thought? band? A podcast? No, uh, it was another podcast where they actually did a playthrough. Oh, the Review of, Universe. No, right? No, no. <laughs> uh, there's that was there's Chris and guys. Steve though, wasn't it? That was Chris and Steve okay, in the so, Review Universe. All right, the, these two guys uh, they have their own podcast uh, where they go and they record themselves playing through games for the first time. One that one person has has played through, and they want to help the other person play through it. And they had played through Final Fantasy VII. Their name of their podcast is escaping me right now. Okay, it's driving me nuts. Um, but um, they had um, recommended this film, Advent Children, and they said there is an extended version of the film, which okay. I own. And I remember watching it being like, hey, that didn't happen before. And honestly, the extended version makes so much more sense than the theatrical version. Because the theatrical version that has so much shit cut out where you're like, I don't understand why they're doing what they're doing. Like, once you see the full version, you're like, this makes way more sense. Like, it's also more violent and more bloody. They cut out, uh, they completely reanimated sequences and removed, like, entire fight scenes that had blood. And I was For like, the theatrical? Oh, like, Just to make it yeah. a little bit more kid-friendly? Yeah. Yeah. So, which I would highly recommend the complete version. So, which one did like you show, Nat? The complete version. Nice. Blood. Yeah. yeah. I was like, don't pull punches. Yeah. yeah. So, at one point, now he goes, Dad, I'm getting scared. I'm like, don't worry. He's the hero. Watch what he does next. Also, you don't know? worry. This is computer graphics. Don't worry. He's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> They're all ghosts. <laughs> They're all ghosts. They're all ghosts. It's ghost ghosts. blood. It's all good. That's squirrel blood. Yeah. Don't worry They're about it. They're all squirrels. That's yep. <laughs> you beat me too. And I'm like, they're all squirrels. They're all squirrels, Natalie. Don't squirrel, worry about squirrel, it. Squirrel, squirrel, that wolf squirrel. is a squirrel. 
Yeah. Really confuse her. Oh, yeah. You all let us know what movie you'd like to rewatch for the first time. <laughs> and we'll tell you why it's a bad choice. <laughs> Maybe. Especially if you rewatch something from your childhood as an adult, you might have second uh, second thoughts. about Second how you opinions, about it, so. if you will. Second opinions, for sure. Yeah. Um, so thank you all so far for listening and watching. And if you're watching us on YouTube, youtube.com slash podcast, hit the like button. It's free. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Uh, check the link in the description for links to our Discord, to links to our Patreon, to our merch. And uh, also, just want to shout out, uh, we posted a clip uh, from our last episode uh, on TikTok, and it's done really well for us. So thank you to everyone. If you're here from there, thank you for joining us. We're glad you're here. Um, but we had, uh, it was our little clip from, like, name that movie from the audio thing, and the, it was a clip from the Goonies, and people fucking love the Goonies. And I got to say posted a lot of clips from our show none of them have just been universally loved with universally lovely comments so thank yeah. you all who have engaged no one's been shitty i was like i don't know how you can be shitty every but, morning uh, i wake up and i wait for you to give me the update on it and i'm like I'm, today's yeah. going to be the day where doug goes oh overnight <laughs> the trolls found us <laughs> yeah i for us like at, at this moment it's like sitting at like uh just over sixty-two thousand views it's got i think over 2,500 likes. It's got like 600 comments. Like it's done really, really well for yeah. us. This is massive. So Th yeah, we're super excited. It's just, it's fun to, this blows people... away b b by far by leaps and bounds are the next highest one that we've ever had. Oh yeah. Just, Without a close. shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. It's pe people. And I was like, I chalk it up to people of the Goonies. So yeah, that's what it good, is. And yeah, look, nostalgia, whatever. baby. Nostalgia so. is strong. It's weird to wake up and look at my phone and see 99 plus notifications. Uh, and I'm like, I think this is going to be good. And they're all good. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's cool. That's nice. And it's just gotten some traction. And it's been really good. So to all of you who have supported us on that, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. We love you. And, and, and thanks for being a part of this, this cool ride that we call Mind Gap Podcasts. So, yeah. And if they want to join us uh, and talk with the community. Yeah. Head over to the Discord. Link in the description. Be part of the community. Join the family. Right. Join the family. Join the family. You know? One of us. Join the family. One of us. Yes. I uh, want to give a quick shout out to uh, one of our uh, community members. Uh, big congratulations, just real quick, to Haig, uh, who's been on the podcast before. Our buddy retired, and uh, he's going uh, to go live out the rest of his days uh, doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. Mr. Uh, making everyone jealous over here. So, congrats, Hague. I wish I was you, mostly. <laughs> you know what we mean. You know what we mean. Well, congratulations, Hague. You're doing something I can't even fathom right now, which right. is legally stop working. I don't know if you can illegally work. I don't know. Anyway. Congrats. You're quitting. You're quitting. You're quitting. Good for you. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> All right, now it's time for an ad. You've heard all about the hot sauces out there. Da Bomb, The Last Dab, and Mad Dog 357, number nine plutonium. Congrats, you have ears. But there's another hot sauce that you may not have heard about because it comes from the old world. And I'm not talking about Europe. I'm talking about Middle Earth, son. I'm talking about Balrog's Flame of Udun Hot Sauce. The Scoville scale doesn't go high enough to capture how hot this is because it's enchanted by the nameless terror to burn through the souls of the weak. Only a true hero with a pure heart and bowels of mithril could even hope to survive an encounter with this sauce. Seriously, if you aren't a legendary hero of a serving size, if you aren't a legendary hero, a serving size of a mere toothpick would cause you to burst into cursed flames and be consumed by the raging fire. So... Are you up to the challenge? Will you defeat this terrible evil, or will you not pass and fall into shadow? The only way to find out is to head over to MindsOfMoya.com and get your five-ounce bottle today. Enter the promo code MindGap at checkout to get 10% off the cleanup service for your ashy remains. Show the world you're a true hero. Give Balrog's Flame of Undun Hot Sauce a try today. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, mm. I had an epiphany. Today, do tell of i believe that social media is the one ring of our society Ooh, all right lay this on me i gotta hear this so <clears throat> in 
and this isn't fully baked, so yeah, there's going to be holes. Hey, look, this we'll bake it right now. We'll bake it right now. We'll do, we'll put a button. We're going we'll to put gonna a button in your oven, baby. We're going to hot box this. Let's do it. So in Lord of the Rings, the One Ring really only has one true master, right? It's it's Sauron, you know, and it's like he gives out other rings and whatever, and people are seduced by this One Ring because it has so much power. And when they wield it, they can produce power but over time it corrupts them social media is something you can wield with because at one point you know frodo is trying to give the ring to gandalf he's like take it and gandalf's like don't right. he's like take it he's like don't offer this to me i if i took it i would i would use it to do good but over time it it would corrupt it would it would be it would do me in and it's the same thing with social media right you're like that's i'm just gonna use this because I don't know. I'm just going to mess around or I'm going to try and do something creative. And then right. what happens? They get a little traction. They get a little bit of influence, right? They start earning a little bit of money. And before you know it, there's a brand deal to something yep. that maybe they don't like, but goddamn, that paycheck's good. And they take that paycheck. And before you know it, you know, you're some popular person who's talking shit about Chicago style pizza saying like, Oh, Chicago style pizzas for tourists. Have you checked out pizza hut? <laughs> and you're like, I'm sorry. What, sir? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Are you saying Chicago style pizzas for tourists, but you're promoting Pizza Hut? Right. The real um, pizza. Okay. And for the record, that this is a real thing. America's pizza. Wait, seriously? This is a real thing. I thought we were just fucking around. <laughs> no, I wish Someone... I wish I had that off the top of my head. That is a real thing. Do we remember who this influencer was? I do, but I will save it. Okay. For, for you, you will need to tell me off, Mike, because that yeah. is incredible i did not realize because also what that is is that's 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 uh rage bait is what it is oh absolutely you're asking people to engage with your content to spread the word of pizza hut right right <laughs> and that's what happens right like people start getting this you know because the ring of power is all about power anyway right like people who get that power and get that authority get that influencing ability all of a sudden they go to a different place. <laughs> they go to the bad place. Right, exactly. They're not tethered to the real world anymore, and they start living in a place. And before you know it, some of those people, a lot of those people, the tendrils come back up and rip you back down hard, and you hit the ground, <laughs> right. and you don't like where you are. Yeah. Um, well, because most so, most people yeah. don't have the, uh, to separate from the Lord of the Rings analogy a little bit, most people don't have the 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 machine, the mechanism around them to insulate them, like the PR machine and the... Like mm -hmm. it's just them out there just getting all these brand deals and this money and they don't really have any help navigating it. And so it can, it can spin out of control very quickly. They haven't been taught well, media presence. They haven't yeah. been taught like how to deal with X, Y, and Z. And like, yeah, it's just a whole, it's a whole side of things. You're just, you're, you think you're ready for it. You're not ready for it. Well, the fact too, is that so many celebrities and I've heard this from so many comedians that they don't even run their own social media sure. because it's a fucking toxic death trap. They're like, they, it's so bad. They pay someone to post shit and respond to shit on their behalf. Right. That's how bad it is. Like they'll like film it and they'll go, go ahead. Here you go team. Send, yep. Go post it. And then they just don't read their comments like that. Think about that for a second. Yeah. You're like, here's this thing I have to do for my career, but I don't want to do, I want to do it. So I want to pay someone to do it on my behalf yeah. so that it can promote what I do. But then I don't have to actually deal with people. Like that, if that isn't like some sort of, I don't know, man, like when you step back and look at it that way, you're like, this is fucked up. Right. Somehow <laughs> Why are we is, doing this? Somehow this is a requirement for success. Like that's gross. Why, why do we have to swim with the crocodiles? Like, I don't understand, man. Like, I don't get it. Like what, what's, what's this thing, you know, because here's, because all of a sudden one of the crocodiles becomes like important and people are like oh they're crocodiles like let's eat that crocodile you know he seems getting <laughs> fat you know like let's get him you know oh yeah it's just people want to build a nightmare you, people want to build you up until you get that until you finally hit a p a point and then it's like how quick can we take tear him bring him back down with us and for the record the irony is not lost on me that i just thanked everyone for engaging with our tiktok posts okay oh absolutely like, yeah sort of stuff. it's not lost on me what i'm be, saying gang like what we're saying is be prepared for us to change massively in the next few weeks <laughs> Right, yeah, because we're gonna get all of those dollars, <laughs> all of the dollars. The Goonies, look when they re-release this on uh, uh, on Blu-ray for the I don't know the fiftieth year anniversary. I don't know it, when that movie came. It's got to be about like, that time, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, I look. I mean, 
hey, listen, we joked about the dick pill guy, you know, mm -hmm. potentially offering a sponsorship. I'm not going to lie. Back in my mind, I was like, we shouldn't do this. Like, <laughs> I don't think this is good for us. Wait, no, like, we, hey, we, we tugged in the thread and we might have dodged a bullet. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, eh, I was more or less like when we engage with him, I'm like, I'm just kind of curious. Like, what are you offering? Which right. is probably not a good thing to even do. Because if he's like, here's a significant money for us to be like, wow, right. that pays for all of our expenses. Okay. Yeah. That could like, where, where do you draw the line? Like, where do you accept that? And I dare I say it's, I'm being a little dramatic here, but that, that love, like, I'm going to take a little corruption here just to, you know, to feed the beast, oh, you yeah. know? Um, you know, what, what could that, what could that mean? Let's just, let's put a number up. What if it's like five grand, I'll give you five grand. I'm like, what could that pay for on our end? Right? Like mm -hmm. what could that take off our, cause I would invest it immediately back into this. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Who wants to edit? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who wants to run our social media? <laughs> Who wants to be a social media person for five grand? Bingo. Because we've got five grand for you. You know, I'm like, well, that's a big win, but we got to sell dick pills on our show. You know what I mean? Like, right. I wouldn't feel good about that. Hey, well, obviously, you've that never taken the dick pills. Let me tell you about these dick pills, Doug. Doug, <laughs> just so you know, Justin's like, here's what you don't know, Doug. I've already taken the deal. I've written <laughs> you out. But speaking of, I'll tell you about dick pills. But I mean, it's like, you know, I don't know. I don't really want to advertise for fucking, you know, fucking casinos and shit or, or any sort of like. The online MGM, MGM no. betting app. Yeah. No, I, I've, I've, I've listened to some indie podcasts and they're like, you know, they read ads for some fucking online slot machine place. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Like, right. That seems really gross, you know, but it's like where, 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 because I'm listen, I'm not a guy that's like, my scruples are worth more than this. I have not, but I'm like, listen, this, is that going to cheapen the show? Well, here we are talking about, yeah. you know, well, check think, out this fun little game we're going to play. But before we do that, let's talk about dick pills, you know? All right, kids. <laughs> Oh, come on, kids. Really? Is that really our Leave audience? the room. I'm well, you don't know. If we're playing these fun games, Doug, maybe. Um, yeah, I guess. No, I think what, what we have going for us in, in that sense is that we've been at this for eight, nine years with mm -hmm. zero interest from advertisers. No, mm -hmm. no one has offered That's a fair. shit. So I think at like we realize that this can kind of progress as is and grow, you know, nominally here and there, uh, you know, little by little. Um, and we're fine with that. You know, if we were, if we were like year one, year two, and mm -hmm. we had seen some success and all of a sudden we had people just throwing money at us, I think that would have been a very dangerous thing. But now I think yeah. we can look at it and go, now, look, we know that we can operate on a shoestring, shoestring budget, right? Our margins mm -hmm. are very thin. So yeah. we don't need to, we don't need to worry about that. So people come at us with dick pills. It's like, yeah, what are you offering? If he's like, mm -hmm. Hundred thousand dollars. Okay, now maybe we're talking. But that that's that's the thing where I'm like, I you can't say you can't say no to that. Like where right. we are in our lives, it's like, yeah, okay, sure, sure, yeah. Like we'll do that. How long? <laughs> How many ads? Yeah. How many ads are we doing? Just for a year? Okay, like we, we can do that. Do we I was gonna to, say like, what's, do we have to what's, prove what's, these work for in, in some way, shape, or form? I don't want to do. Can an you only... prove they work? Because I also don't want to sell fentanyl right. to people. You know, like okay, so you guys are required to start an OnlyFans. That's step one. Oh. Great. Oh, and boy. now you're going to show them how it yes. works. Like, oh, <laughs> it's just like the worst only fans are like, these don't work, do they? Nope. We're just sitting here with flaccid dicks. Nope. What would be worse? Raging hard ons, strike it out, or just flaccid dicks? <laughs> Probably flaccid dicks. Just being like, it's not working. Mine's not working either. I'm even trying. I'm trying and it's not working. Are these dick killers? Like, <laughs> they didn't say what kind of dick pills they were. For the record, this is how the ad reads would have gone. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just us sitting there with flaccid dicks. Just uh so you're asking what the dollar amount is? No, I'm saying like what 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 um what's a product you'd be willing to They'd be willing be on the to. show. Yeah. Okay. For like, that I would you know. be like okay with like a, a kind of excited about what's the bare minimum i'm talking like it's Got not it. dick pills but like it's maybe a step above where you're like i, where I'm, I'm I not, don't love it but i'm gonna do it but i don't have like i don't have real uh i don't take real umbrage with it um, you're not excited you're like we got sponsors you're like really who are they you're like just you can just listen to the episodes we you just know, we have sponsors don't worry about it yeah we have sponsors it's um cool. <clears throat> i'm not gonna put I, them on a shirt it would probably be any sort of like uh tax service or anything to do with like accounting <laughs> you know turbo brought to you by h&r block yeah right yeah 
for all your fiduciary be, needs. I think it'd be any sort of like bullshit, like protein powder or some sort of like awful, yeah, like health, health and like fitness supplements. bullshit. Some sort of dump supplement. Oh my god! Like <laughs> I hear AG One promoted everywhere. I'm like, I don't trust supplements, man. Have I you taken don't. your magnesium pills today? <laughs> These are mind gap magnesium pills. Like, ugh, yeah. Anything that like alleges- mind your mind with mind gap magnesium pills, mind gap yeah. fish oil pills, all oh, the omega three you need. I would hate that. I, by the way, side note: I used to take fish oil pills. Did you? Back when we were trying to check out if uh, we were going to have another kid because the sperm count was a little low. <laughs> I was. Did you think some fish oil? Does that help that? Or were you trying Supposedly. to like, were you trying to turn the brain on so you could figure things out better? Like down there? Yeah. <laughs> now, supposedly it's supposed to help with sperm count. So well, you weren't taking those dick pills, were you? No. Because that might have been a problem. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> what pills? Which ones? The, the ones that do talking. <laughs> I don't know. Are they okay. fish oil? Because I took a lot of them. <laughs> dick pills. <laughs> dick pills. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I didn't realize uh, yeah. fish oil uh, helped with that. I did not. I did not I know guess. that. Okay. I already forgot what they were really <clears throat> there for. But cool. Uh, yeah. So social media is the one ring, the actual <laughs> real world one ring. I like the analogy that works. I'm sticking to it. So cool. All right. So since we uh, subbed in something for something else, let's talk about a real funny thing. I think it's hilarious. Let's talk about how a moose killed a man <laughs> attempting to take photos of her newborn calves in Alaska. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but <laughs> it's fucking funny. Um, yeah. Listen, death is a real thing that happens to us. And uh, let's just we'll, we'll talk about this and we'll talk about it. So a 70 year old Alaska man who was attempting to take photos of two newborn moose calves was attacked and killed by their mother. I mean, that about sums it up right yep. there. Like, <clears throat> you know, hashtag uh, only in Anchorage. Visit beautiful right. brought to you by beautiful Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> What are you running from? Come here today. (laughs) Everybody's on the run. Uh, So it says a female moose had recently given birth to calves as they were walking through the brush looking for the moose. That's when the cow moose attacked Dale. Of course, his name is Dale. Mm -hmm. Uh, The attack happened as the two were running away. The second man who has not been publicly identified was uninjured. Um, Yeah. So these are the things where I'm like, if if I if I went out like this, just just awful, just awful way to go out because yeah. you're like, man, I was doing something I shouldn't have, <laughs> and I got caught, and I got caught by because the thing is like I don't know if people a lot of people realize how big a moose is. Yeah, like, look, I, yeah, a moose is no joke. They're fucking massive, absolutely massive. I think they're like seven feet tall with their like with their shoulders up to the shoulders. A Big bull will weigh up to sixteen hundred pounds. Yeah, does it does so, it say what the what the sh- like floor to shoulder? Uh, let's see here. Generally, a big uh, moose bull, uh, bull sorry, a bull, bull moose can weigh from twelve hundred to sixteen hundred pounds, and adult adult cow moose can weigh eight hundred to thirteen hundred pounds. Uh, let's see your height. Uh, where's the height? Doesn't really say. Oh, here we go. Uh, is difficult for man. Blah blah blah. The largest moose I've ever seen. Dead was shot in the Yukon, whatever, from the bottom of the hoofs to the top of his hump. He measured about seven and a half feet. There you go. Yeah. So I'm talking, these things are not to be fucking trifled with. When Beth and I went up to Canada, we saw, like, we had to stop because there were moose crossing the the uh, the highway. Some dumb dick gets out and starts trying to approach them. And the moose, like, didn't, they, they didn't actually hit the car, but it was, like, it was saying like, get back in your fucking car or I'm going to charge you. And it was like, what is this guy? This thing was humongous, humongous. So I can't even imagine that was that. I can't even imagine being out in the wilderness and you're just like, Oh, let's go look at these newborns. Okay. You don't go fucking around with what a, when a dog gives birth, it's, you know, it's dicey to go up to, to the puppies. You know, any animal is going to be fucking, it's a, it's a, it's an animal that just gave birth. It doesn't know you. Mm -mm. By the way, they say an Alaskan bull moose will stand on average six feet high or slightly taller at the shoulder. 
They said, for reference, an average thoroughbred horse stands five feet four inches at shoulder. There you go. Horses are fucking right. big. Now that's at, so this is at, like at the shoulder, eight right? inches taller. Yeah. <laughs> like now, now holy add shit. that giant ass head with those big fucking antlers. Like we're t- yeah, we're talking. That is a wrecking machine. Now here's the thing. I'll say, not celebrating that this guy died at all. Like sad. No. It sucks that that happened, and you know, it, too bad. But come on, dude. <laughs> Come, fucking come on, man. Yeah, I just, yeah. So I saw this Jesus. article. I laughed because I was like, it, it reminded me of years ago. There was an article about a guy who went to the geysers at uh, um, Yellowstone National yes. Park. And he <clears throat> was going over by the geyser where he shouldn't, where it was roped off. Yep. He wasn't supposed to go over there. And he was going to have someone take his picture. And he fell into the geyser hole and melted. Like, that was it. Like it was over. Ceased to exist, melted. Yeah, he ceased to exist immediately as the geyser melted him. Yeah. Because it was that hot. And I was like, all that for a fucking photo? Like, Congrats. what are you doing, man? Yeah. Like, Christ on a cracker. Like, what do we, like, those are the things where I just get irrationally <clears throat> angry because I'm like, you lost your life to capture something on your phone. Like, what are we doing here? Like, right. is it that important? You, you had to get that close? You well, couldn't take it from a distance? <laughs> right. Really? And, and again, is this, I would say, back to your it, social media is the one ring. Is this all to feed the the appetite of social media? Like, is are the, is that the intent of these pictures? Are these for your own collection? You're going to print this picture of these calves out and hang it on the wall and, you know, you can have that to as a, like a nature photographer? Or are you just, do you want to post that up and be like, hey, look, look what I did, you know? Look, hey, Facebook, look what I did. Now, listen, can we say that this guy stumbled across them? Could we be generous and say that he was just walking and he's like, oh, shit, look at this. Those are moose calves. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, it doesn't say that he was intentionally seeking them out. But also, if I saw babies of anything, I'd be like, uh, everyone step back, especially of a large animal. If I identified... Like, that's a bear cub. I'm like, we need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, I mean, look, the first rule is if you see babies, then assume that the mother is not far behind. You know, like, that's just a safe assumption. Unless they're rabbit babies, because rabbit babies get left behind by their mom. I know this for two summers in a row. Tug knows. Fucking rabbits have laid their babies in my backyard. The worst place (laughs) where there's a goddamn fucking dog and they've not survived. No batch so far. We're 0-2. Of batches, and I'm just like, God, Doug's no wonder to- you guys just breed. They say breed like rabbits because yeah. the odds of you your your offspring surviving are so low. Doug has so had to low. Process some big feelings the last two years. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have to throw them into the detention pond this year. Loki ate the corpses. So, oh gosh, you know, yeah. I was like, well, they're gone. I guess thanks for the cleanup. Right. You know, that's anyway. gross. Yeah, you're right. Like, if there's a baby animal. Like, Assume. don't fucking get near it. No, no. That's, again, I, yeah, it's, you got no one to blame but yourself at that point. Because as they were walking through the brush, looking for the moose, that's when the cow moose attacked Dale. So they, like, you're actively seeking out. What did you think was going to happen? That the moose was, it was going to be like a Disney movie? Where you find the moose and the moose, like, nudges one of the babies over, like, you want to hold it? Yeah. You know, then it this. lifts you up with its antlers and it carries you back to town? No, that's not what's going to happen. Yeah. Calving season for moose is the time when you definitely want to give them extra space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no shit. Um, yeah. So I that's got me thinking, like, what would be a horrible news article that involved your death that you'd be embarrassed about? Uh, you're like, fuck. Oh, man. If I died at the hands of a, of a, a tax professional. <laughs> Going back to it. I love yeah. it. I died of taxes. Uh, yeah, died of anything relating to numbers. That would just be that'd be a pop pop mark on my life story. I think dying at or death by some sort of all you can eat buffet would be pretty bad. <clears throat> like just, if you were in Ryan's Steakhouse back, Ryan's back in the day. <laughs> oh. What would be the worst one to die at? A Ryan Steakhouse, Golden Corral, <laughs> fucking Old Country, Old Country Buffet, buffet. Uh, Ponderosa. <laughs> Ooh, I, it's got to be Golden Corral or a Ponderosa. Has to be one of those two. 
I think Golden Corral would be pretty bad because those yeah. are pretty gross. Golden, those are yeah, pretty gross. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Golden Corral. That one would be died. He went up to get his fifth plate and ended up falling over, tripping and drowning in the mashed potatoes. He drowned in the nacho cheese. He drowned in the spaghetti nacho- plate that he put together. <laughs> he true look, story. At you try. <laughs> True story. That was the was that younger, was the mind gap test kitchen before the mind gap te- test oh, kitchen existed. I'll I'll never forget this because this was seared in my mind. I knew this was a bad idea, but I got their watered logged spaghetti noodles. That was just this is this yep. this doesn't make sense because you can't just have noodles sitting out because they dry out, right? It's, so right. what you do? You leave them in water. <laughs> you leave them in water at the buffet. You slow cook them. <laughs> you slow cook the fucking noodles. You want al dente? Go to a real restaurant, motherfucker. Like you ain't getting al dente spaghetti noodles. They're soaking in the water. You're lucky these things so don't fall gross. apart. You're lucky they're still structurally or, sound. Or sometimes they didn't have enough water, so like the top part of them would be sucking fucking hard because they're dried out <laughs> and sitting under a heat lamp. They're absolutely dried Jesus out. Jesus Christ. So what are we doing? So what your, are we doing your idea was people? your idea was to create your own version of mac and mac and cheese more or less. So I I took the wet noodles, like the sopping wet noodles, yeah. and then I would go to the the taco bar and I would put nacho cheese on the fucking spaghetti. Yep. And I would sit down and I was like, "This is normal," and I would eat it. And my mom would let me do it. She never stopped me. She let me do it. I'm like, ah. There, Doug, there were signs. I'll we'll just say there were signs for years. There were yeah. signs. There were signs. I, I just started trying to be better three years ago. So I've got a long road. There's I would road love I would love to go back now and just sit and oh. observe what just what people are doing in those places. The combinations of stuff. I remember because the kind of shit my dad would put together. He would get everything he would have a like, mountain the yeah. salad bar looks like some sort of sorry, like sorry. Olympic let's triumph. put that let's put that in quotes <laughs> yeah there was there were leaves and there was salad dressing right so salad bar it's okay but there was also also he would get every fucking topping you could put on the salad and it would be a literal like olympic mountain right it was looks like this had, is everest he had we're cheese going to, cubes on there he had yeah. olives, <laughs> olives bacon like what? Anything, and and that was that was the salad. You go to the salad bar first. That was before yeah. you go. That's your, that's to, your starter. That's your starter. Yeah. You would start with that. God, do you remember that? Like, ooh, I'll just have the salad bar. I'll just have the salad. I'm being healthy. I'll just have the salad bar today. And people just loaded up with all sorts of shit. It was yes, absolutely. <laughs> all sorts of dressing. They're like, I'm I'm doing good, um, and I have a diet coke. So I'm making. It's good. <laughs> I am making good decisions today. You know what? I'm not going to have the buffet at Pizza Hut. I'm going to stick with the salad bar. I'm going to be good today. <laughs> That's two Pizza Hut call, out, call outs today. That's good. You know? <laughs> but, yeah. This episode brought to you by Pizza Hut. Um, yeah. I, I Blow would it say out your ass. Pizza Hut. <laughs> dying. In- <laughs> Wait, it's, it's, it's just. <laughs> Pizza Hut. Um, Pizza Hut. Yeah, I would say that dying in a dying in any way, shape, or form at a buffet would be at a at a, at a golden corral would be a horrible way to be memorial. Like in a paper, like that, like to be memorialized that way would be just god awful. I think the only thing that'd be make it worse would be like another middle aged man dies in golden corral. I, like, you're not the first. Like I've been warned. And I still ignored the warnings and still went there anyway and did it. You tempted another face. middle-aged man yeah. eats himself to death at a golden corral. Oh man! Inve- investigators are guessing the motive was suicide. Like just <laughs> the, the motive was he was at a golden corral. He was at a golden corral and he's by himself and right there again. Me. There were signs. There were signs. Yeah, <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, that'd be tough. I think that'd be a tough one. That'd be a tough oh, one to go man. out on where it's like, whew, you know, that just, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's another, if there's, if there's a potentially more embarrassing way to go. Probably like was, like, I mean, there I, is more trying to get a photo ways, but, is an easy one. Like getting yeah. a dumb, like trying to, you know, I was <laughs> trying to get a selfie. I, I got hit by a fucking uh, bicycle trolley, you know? Yeah. Well, dude, I'm telling all these, what the new thing that I'm, 
obsessed with. And it, I hate it because it's one of those things where I watch it. Like when you watch a horror film and you're just like, I watch it because, you know, the, the idea of being scared is kind of fun. It's mm -hmm. these uh, social media. I, I just struggle with the word influencer, but these social media accounts where it's young people who are on top of they 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 free solo buildings oh, and then they're just running around nightmare. the top and they're just hanging off the things and they're taking selfies with the with the you know 360 cameras and like my hands are getting sweaty just thinking about I've it. I cannot like now and I've done I broke my algorithm so now they come up and I don't want them oh, to anymore but you no. know and so oh, no but again I'm thinking I'm like dude one slip and like your post like was it worth it and I know you're doing something that in theory you enjoy like maybe you live for that adrenaline but i don't know man like is it is this worth it because dude you are one one misstep away from that's it lights out or you do like a hot ones like challenge but like oh, the low grade oh. one and you get like some hot sauce that burns you like i don't know right. from balrog slam of undun you know hot sauce you know and you're like oh i'll try it i'll be the guy that tests this out right and you just literally like you you just bleed out your butt until you die. You, know? <laughs> you go to you go to one of those uh, one of those um, where they pay they pay you to come in and take a serve. Like here, try this mm. new thing, and you take the survey, and you're like, oh, this was a little spicy, or I liked <laughs> this, and you you got to fill out the survey. You're the only one out of the entire uh, <laughs> the entire yeah. class that yeah, that would yeah, be a that would be a shitty way to like, go. Uh, yeah, it didn't uh, it didn't work out for. Hey, it was this we microwave tried. burrito, and it just man, it <laughs> ate him up from the inside. <laughs> For me, a lot of it's food based. Yeah. I think I have a lot of shame with food. That's really what it's I think we're unpacking to. something here. Yeah. You know what? I I think I've unlocked a door right now. It's like uh, death by food. Right. I was happen. my my dad always joked about how uh, like if we were like left a candle burning or something like we, it was like, you know, I have any idea how if our house burns down, if we die, you have any idea how how much I'll get laughed at? As an, as a firefighter we always always had that thing of just like that cannot be a way that we that we go out okay can't That's go just, out with, can't fire. Go out with that fire yeah fire. exactly you guys gotta be better than for that. him that would have been it anything related to what he did as a profession yeah the thing That's that funny. he fought as a profession <laughs> i won't go out i fire. won't let it consume me does he want to be cremated when he's gone you know that's a great question you should check that over yeah, with him because he's like i won't let the fire beat me even to death <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> do not. <laughs> Don't you dare cremate me. Under any you circumstances. put me in the ground. Give, give me to the fire. <laughs> you give me back no. to the earth. Yeah, that'd be funny. That'd be so funny. <laughs> well, let us know what you all think. What would be an embarrassing way for you to be immortalized in your death? What would you? What would be the worst, most embarrassing way for you to go out and have yeah. it be like, hey, two assholes are talking about it on a podcast. <laughs> let us know. We'd love to hear it. But now it's time for our new favorite game. Ooh, two weeks in called, a row. Called, hey, Justin, here's a song or something from a movie. Can, can, can you guess it? You know? <laughs> can, you guess, can you guess that movie? Can you guess that movie? Can you guess that movie with sounds? You, you know what um, it was? <laughs> you, know, you know what it was? Uh, so I'm super pumped for this. I have a whole running list of these. You, um, you've really started like building your backlog been going through it yeah. i'm like I, I had a lot of fun with this i want to keep doing it All so right. i want i I've, I've got a jam so i have four for you Ooh, uh, oh for, boy. for tonight all right uh so um you sure I, you want to burn four i have a long list you got a long list okay I've got a long we're not list. worried all right and who's to say that we may not go back to some of these movies at some point with different <clears throat> clips so Look, these aren't the necessarily there's a lot of sounds there's a lot of sounds in movies <laughs> This isn't aren't necessarily sound effects. These are more lines from movies. So Ooh, I'll be curious. There to are see if some this is... sound effects in there. Okay, but these are like more like <clears throat> spoken lines. I'll be curious to films. see if this is easier or mm -hmm. or harder because the the part of me there's a part of me that says this this might be easier. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I have we'll I have see. high hopes for you. But all right, here's your first one. Are you ready? Yes. Get away from her, you bitch! Salacious B. Crumb. It is! Hey! <laughs> that was him! <laughs> he was too close to... He was the bitch. He was um, too close. That was Ripley in Alien. Z I'm sorry, which one? <laughs> 
<laughs> Which one is it? Alien or aliens? Yeah, it's exactly, or Alien 3. That's what or I alien said. It was, it was, or Alien Resurrection. Right. Or Prometheus. Right. Yep. <laughs> 100%. Uh, I'm going to say it was Aliens, for sure. Final answer. It is Aliens. That's correct. That is the sequence I only, where she gets... I only say that with confidence because of your initial reaction. I was like, which one? You're like, Alien. <laughs> <laughs> That's when she yes. gets in the loader, and she comes out, yep. and she challenges the queen and uh, to get away from Newt. Love that, that so movie. initially, I would, with just that... That that hydraulics. Mm-hmm. I I first thing I went to was Terminator followed by RoboCop, and I was like, it's going to be go. one of those two. And then I heard there the voice. Go. I'm like, ooh, got to pivot. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> one. You're like, that is that, that is, is not that. That is not yeah. Schwarzenegger. All right, yeah, great start. Well yeah. done. All right. Have you seen Aliens? Uh, no, not in its entirety. I've only. I was like, I, I want to try and pull for movies that you've seen. I yes. was like, this may may. I don't know. I feel like this is good enough for him to grab my contact. It was. It was. Look, Aliens is enough in like the lexicon of just yes. of, of movie knowledge, you know, like our our social. Yeah, I know. I know enough of it. I've only ever seen in, in its entirety Alien. And that's when you came to the ICM so that one day. Hmm. Yeah, that's such a good one. That one and Aliens is good. Alien 3 is OK. And then it kind of mm, just starts to. Time. Yeah. Yeah. It starts to starts to get away. All okay. right. Excellent. Let's go for your second one here. All right. Let's see if you can catch this one. A little brown eel comes out of the cave, swims into the hole, comes out of the hole, goes back into the cave again. It's not too good, is it, Chief? Or you oh. got a lot of clues here. Oh, All Chiefy. Right. Oh, dark eyes, black as night. Shark in the water. I don't think he's Irish, but okay. No, he's just mumbled mouth. <laughs> that's Jaws, baby. That is that Jaws. That is absolutely yes. Jaws, yes. Yeah, that's that's when uh, uh, he's trying to, the chief is on there trying to learn how to do a sheep shack. Not. Okay. And he's, oh, and he's, he's like, you're doing it. Eel goes in, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's te- teaching him how to do that. That so. that voice is so burned into, as, as a fan of accents and voices and things like that is just, that's a... A, a, a wonderful voice in cinema. Exactly. So I, I was like, I don't want to be like, we need to get a bigger boat. You know, that's an obvious one. <laughs> that one would have like, been this, very easy. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is a particular one. I was like, you got the waves hitting. Yeah. And if you listen closely at the end, he calls him chief. So it's like, if you know all those different elements, you could probably pull it together. So was nice uh, job. Robert Shaw. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Robert yeah. Shaw. Nice. All right. All right. All right. This next one. I have it in hard mode and easy mode. Ooh, so we'll start right. with hard mode. I love it. And we'll see how you go from there. All okay. right, so here you go. Maybe. Oh, oh I got that it. Easy mode. <laughs> oh, shit, you got it. All right, here, 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 here's hard mode. I don't do humans. Classic line. It is. As far as I'm concerned. I don't do humans. <laughs> oh, it's... Uh... Oh, man, hold on. I... I, I... I don't do humans. I don't do humans. Who says it? Do you know the actor? No, oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't do humans. I don't do humans. <laughs> oh, here's the thing. It's okay, so let me explain what happened in my... For some uh, reason, my brain went down one path, similar to when we play these other uh, games, and yeah. I, I know it's wrong, but for some reason, I can't unlock from that and allow my brain to wander in a different All right, direction. What's, what's the one that's wrong? For some reason, it, I have a Jim Carrey movie in my head. Okay. And I just like, I like that. I like a uh, dumb and dumber when he like, he's, he's the dog okay. groomer. So like, you okay. know, I don't do human, like in my head, like for whatever reason I latched onto that. I know mm-hmm. without a shadow of doubt, it's not that, but I can't mm-hmm. like, like, I mean, my brain won't like, allow me. You're like, yeah, it's, it's like, like, okay. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. myself, we're done with that thought. Move along. Uh, <laughs> I don't do humans. Okay. I, cool. I, the thing is, I know, I know, I know it. I just, I can't come up with it. Do you it. know the actor? Uh, I don't. Not at this point. No. Okay. All right. So give me do the easy version. give mode. you the yeah. easier version of it? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here's more context. Maybe you should have joined the police force. I'm a real detective. I don't do humans. Oh my God. A little more context for yes. you. Yes. Yes. Uh, should have uh, joined the police force, become a real detective. Police force. Wait. 
Oh no, it is Jim Carrey, Ace Ventura with Courtney Cox. Yes! yes. Yes, they're looking through the files for Robert Finkel and yes. looking through the old. Yes, okay, I was right with Jim Carrey. I, I just didn't want to make a big direction. deal about it because yes. I was like, I was like, I don't want to give sway me oh, away. You're like man. Jim Carrey, and I'm like, it is Jim Carrey. That's okay. Good. That's oh, why I was like, do you know where the actor is? You're like, no. And I'm well, like, okay. The audio well. quality on it is a little lower too. You know what I mean? Like, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, thank God. Okay. I don't cool. do humans. <laughs> Oh, thank God. <laughs> Again, another one that I watched so much as a kid. Right. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's like there. It's like, that was a line. I'm like, that's such a random line. I love it. It's just, it, but I don't it, do humans. I was like, I know I've seen a movie where someone says this. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Three for three. Let's All right. see if we can Woo. close it out. Here we go. Let's go for the sweep. My name is Zeus. Zeus? Yeah, Zeus. As in father of Apollo, Mount Olympus. Don't fuck with me or I'll shove a lightning bolt up your ass. Zeus. Absolutely. That is Zeus and uh, John McClane riding in the taxi cab in Die Hard 3, baby. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Hell yeah. Yes. This guy did it. He got them all, baby. Why you keep so calling fun. me Hey Zeus? Because it's your name. It's <laughs> the guy I said. Do I look Puerto Rican to you? <laughs> That's what he was calling you. No, he was saying, Hey Zeus. Zeus, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Father of Apollo, yeah. Like, Shove yeah, a lightning so bolt good. up your ass, yeah. Oh man, those were good ones, dude. Thank you. Those Thank were you. fun. I had fun. I had fun pulling those. I put a list of like movies down, and yeah. I was just like, if there's one that I'm like, I'm sure there's something in there, and then one pops in my head, I'm like, ooh, I'll have to remember that. Yeah, I'll go back there and get that. So, see, I like good job, man. And you, you did, you did recognizable, but not like, uh, like classically recognizable, like not the. You know, Classic movies, yes. but not necessarily the line you're going to think of. You didn't give you know? me an all righty then. Or, right. uh, you know, yes. Any any one of those. Yeah. But enough to where you're like, I know this. This is this I is know something. this. Yeah. I've seen this movie a lot. This yeah. is a common film. <laughs> I'm going to be able to pull this line from it. So, nice job. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, let us know how you did. Which one was your favorite? And uh, be prepared because we're going to be doing this some more. Because I love doing this. So, yes. Oorah. All right, Justin, what do you got to recommend this week? Uh, I'm going to recommend uh, late to the game, but uh, I said I was going to start to kind of go through Ryan Gosling's. Uh, I want to I want to do Ryan Gosling and I want to do uh, Sam Rockwell. I want to start going through their their whole libraries. And this was a twofer because I got real into uh, Denis Villeneuve. Uh, after watching Dune and he did Blade Runner 2049, Ryan Gosling stars in that. So I was like, Ooh, a twofer. And so I'm going to recommend Blade Runner 2049. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, visually, uh, I thought thematically, uh, I really enjoyed the performances. I was, I enjoyed the original Blade Runner. I thought it was, it was good. This one, I definitely enjoyed more. Um, and that's just me. People can fight me on that. That's fine. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Blade Runner 2049 if you have not seen it yet. If you were like, I'm waiting to see if Justin recommends it, I do. Can I admit something? Please. I've never watched Blade Runner all the way through. That's fine. I've only seen bits and pieces. It's a, Here's the thing. It's one of those movies that now is a slog to get mm -hmm. through like for, especially for you who does not like it always felt like that whenever it was on i'm like now's the time when i was younger and i was just like eh. yep because like, it's those just... drawn out shots it's a real like it's an older movie but also it's mm -hmm. an artsy older movie and so like mm -hmm. it takes those drawn out shots that you dislike from older movies and it draws them out even longer <laughs> yeah. so it's definitely i i don't blame you it's a slug i will say if 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 there comes a point uh I would recommend watching the original Blood Runner. I would recommend trying mm. to get through it. Yeah, um, but which version? Exactly. Like seven different cuts. I was shown the director's cut. I was shown mm. uh, that that one. I don't know what, mm -hmm. how, but I know there's, I think, five official cuts. I think mm. I was shown the director's cut. So, okay. whatever. Um, I don't know that it really matters which cut you watch. It, you'll get the the same kind of, you'll understand what a just, replicant is. Yeah. You'll understand what the story is. And it will set you up for what they're doing in this in this film. But uh, yeah, I would definitely say 
Um, Blade Runner for sure, but Blade Runner twenty forty nine that was a that was a good movie. So I really enjoyed that. And all right, yeah, I, I I'm a fan of him as an actor. Fan of Gosling as a you know, uh, sorry, a fan of uh, Denny as a director. Fan of Gosling as an actor, and it just hit all the notes for me. So nice, Doug. What do you got? I recommend Inside Out two. I went to go see it for Father's Day weekend, and nice. I really enjoyed it. It's. I thought that uh, the first one was. It's just a creative concept. The idea of, uh, um, you know, uh, humanizing emotions, and um, I find it creative because I think from a child's perspective, it's like cool. These are emotions. As an adult, I'm like, I know what this teenager's going through right now. <laughs> right. Like literally, like. I feel it. I know there's a lot of people that cried watching it because uh, anxiety is, you know, an emotion that appears in it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what anxiety is like for me. And uh, I think they do a good job of like, you know, anxiety's whole purpose is I'm planning for the future. <laughs> so they're thinking of every possible outcome yep. and what that means. And there's a specific scene in the movie where Riley is walking and her internal monologue is like, what are we doing with our hands? Are we moving them too much? Okay, don't move them at all. And they're just walking, not moving. It's like, no, this is weird. What do we do? And I literally had that happen to me in seventh grade. Nice. Where I was walking and someone goes, you swing. One person goes, you swing your arms a lot when you walk. And I was like, oh, God, is that not supposed to happen? So then I was just awkwardly walking. Like, I don't know what to do with my Do you change like, to who you were walking? I literally was oh. like, I, this one person was like, you swing your arms a lot. And I'm like, oh, okay. And, that, uh, and at 41... You still remember that. So in this fictitious, fictitious movie where this happened, I'm like, oh, I identify with that. People are like, I identify with this really serious moment. I'm like, I identify with that because <laughs> that fucked me up that for a year. To me. I was like, I don't know what to do with my hands when I walk. Right. You know, <laughs> uh, but it's very it's very creative. It's very uh, well done. I think it, it once again. You know, I think it, it it's multi layered in that as an adult you can watch it and be like, oh yeah, this hits way different. Yeah, as an adult and it, it's meaningful. And as a kid, I think it gives it a great way opportunity to talk about emotions and what they do and you know they exist and that you know it's okay to have these emotions. Yeah, you know, so it's good. It's I a really, really good film and I, I think it's done really well at the box office too. Not that that means anything, but you know. Whatever. No, I think didn't they say that it was kind of like the first big smash of the year? Uh, yeah. I think so. It's been breaking records, I think. Yeah, inside so. outs. Out too. I really like enjoyed the films, first one. Uh, what's mm -hmm. that? I was like, unfortunately, unlike other ones that were supposed to be big ones, they right. haven't been doing as well. So, um, no, I really enjoyed the first. I know a few people I talked to were were you know lukewarm on the first one. I I really it was I would I would put Inside Out in my top. I don't know. 50. It, it might break the top five Pixar movies, maybe. I don't know. It was. I think I, as I, far as good. sheer creative, like yeah, it's it's so unique and so right interesting, you know. Yeah, it was. It's and, it's uh, up there for yeah. sure. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know how many Pixar movies there are. Definitely top ten. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so yeah. I recommend that you should go check it out. I think you will enjoy it. So great gang, we did it again. Uh, thanks so much for listening to us. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mindgap podcast, check us out there for clips and all of our full episodes with our video, our beautiful video. Uh, and be sure to hit the link in the description for access to our discord, to links to our Patreon, to our merch at Redbubble, and all that good stuff. And uh, be sure to check us out on our social media at mindgap podcast. Uh, check us out on TikTok if you want to see the, the one clip that's doing well. It's, it's doing well. Thanks. Love Thanks us. for engaging and liking and all and sharing and all that stuff. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Justin's online too. You can find me on Instagram at Justin underscore Michael spelled M-I-K-E-L. It's the fun way of spelling it while you're in the online realm. Any place where you can find podcasts. If you like the audio versions of podcasts, you can find us in all those places. So go ahead, look us up, subscribe, rate, review, uh, share us, all those things. Big one is sharing. Let people know that we're out there. It goes a long, long way. It really helps us out. And then TuiState.com, TuiState on uh, all social media, LoveAndImprovFilm.com, LoveAndImprovFilm on Instagram. And uh, at the time of recording, uh, Inside Out 2 has grossed uh, $728 million worldwide. Jesus. So That is damn good. Yeah. So congrats to Inside Out 2 for being, uh, you know, uh, on the north side, closing in towards a billion. 
Success, I think is what we can call that one. Hurrah! Success. All right, with that being said, I want to say, uh, Justin, thank you. Douglas, thank you. Listeners, viewers, thank you, and you all have a dandy fucking week. Bye.